In this presentation, we will learn what is Mead semi lattice. By the end of this lecture, learners would know definition of Mead semi lattice, how to define a Mead semi lattice, and also how to identify whether a given Hess diagram is a Mead semi lattice or not. By the end of this lecture, you would be able to know how to identify whether a given Hess diagram is a Mead semi lattice or not. So, without any further delay, let's get started. Consider this post set S, less than or equal to. Our target is to define what a Mead semi lattice is. The post set S, less than or equal to is a Mead semi lattice if for all x, y belong to S, x and y, that means greatest lower bound of x, y must not be empty. This is what I want to emphasize on. We are considering this post set S, less than or equal to. And we are saying this that the poset is a meet semi lattice if for all x, y belong to S. Every x and y, okay? x and y, this means greatest lower bound of x, y cannot be empty. If it is the case that GLB of x, y is equal to phi, then the poset is not a meet semi lattice. As simple as that. Now, with the help of an example, we will try to identify whether a given Hess diagram is a meet semi lattice or not. Let's see the example. Consider the following Hess diagram. Let's say we are available with this Hess diagram and our target is to identify whether this Hess diagram is a meet semi lattice or not. In the given Hess diagram, every pair of element has the greatest lower bound. Consider every pair possible. You can see that every pair of element has the greatest lower bound. For example, let's consider the pair F and E. Greatest lower bound of F, comma, E is E. Why is that so? It is always easy to identify the greatest lower bound of any pair. We have learned this in our previous lesson. If you haven't watched the previous lesson, then it is advisable to watch the previous lesson first and then you can move to this lecture. Okay? If you want to identify the greatest lower bound of F and E, then it is quite easy to find that. What do you have to do? You just have to consider the pairs and trace the path downwards from F and from E. You can see that the first meeting point is E. This is the first point where F and E meets. So, this is our greatest lower bound. That's it. Similarly, if you want to identify the greatest lower bound of C and D, then we have to trace the path down and see the first point where they meet. Here, I'm considering these two elements C and D. This is the first point where they meet. I have traced the path down and I have seen that this is the point where they meet. So, B is the greatest lower bound of C and D. Simple. Then obviously, greatest lower bound of E and D, E and D is obviously D. Greatest lower bound of C and B is B and so on. In this way, you would be able to identify the greatest lower bound in the easiest way possible. Right? Therefore, the given Hess diagram is a meet semi lattice. There is no doubt about this, that this Hess diagram is a meet semi lattice. Greatest lower bound of F and D is E. Greatest lower bound of C and D is B. Similarly, greatest lower bound of every pair exists. Right? Therefore, the given Hess diagram is a meet semi lattice. Now, you might ask me this question that, okay, I have to consider every pair of element. Now, is it not going to be a tedious task? Obviously, it is. That is why I advise you to find the greatest lower bound of the unrelated elements. Okay? You can see that the elements which are related, let's say F and C, the greatest lower bound always exists. There is no doubt about this. You can find the greatest lower bound of F and C is C only, right? Similarly, for F and B, it is B only. Fine. In a similar way, you can find the greatest lower bound of the related elements, but it is always advisable to find the greatest lower bound of the unrelated elements. Here you can see C and D are unrelated or incomparable, right? I would advise you to find the greatest lower bound of these two elements. If it is the case that the greatest lower bound does not exist, then the given Hess diagram is not a meet semi lattice. As simple as that. Okay? You can see here that these are two unrelated elements and the greatest lower bound of C and D is actually B. So, greatest lower bound does exist. Therefore, this Hess diagram is a meet semi lattice. Okay? Let's consider one more example to cement this concept. Consider the following Hess diagram. Let us suppose we are available with this Hess diagram. And it has been asked that is the above has diagram a meet semi lattice? Let's identify. Consider the pair D and E. Okay? 
consider this pair we have to consider these two elements d and e and we have to find the lower bounds and the greatest lower bound eventually okay let's just find out the lower bounds of d and e first lower bounds of d and e are c a and b you can see that lower bounds of d and e are c a and b obviously this is true right if you have any doubt then watch the previous lectures okay now in order to find the greatest lower bound obviously we have to see the first meeting point right consider these two points and trace the path down you can see the first meeting point this is the first meeting point right so greatest lower bound of d and e is c there's no doubt about this now consider the pair a comma b these two elements now what are the lower bounds of a and b lower bound of a and b is actually 5 right there is no lower bound of a and b we have to consider these two elements and then we have to trace the path down but there is nothing below a and b so lower bounds of a and b does not exist therefore it is true that the greatest lower bound of a and b also does not exist hence there exists a pair in the poset represented by the given hash diagram whose greatest lower bound does not exist obviously we have this pair a comma b whose greatest lower bound does not exist therefore it is true that the given hash diagram is not a meet semi lattice there is no doubt that this hash diagram is not a meet semi lattice right i have considered only the pairs which are unrelated right you can see d and e are unrelated i have considered them after this i have considered these two elements a and b these two are unrelated therefore i have considered them right and you can clearly see that greatest lower bound of a and b does not exist therefore the given hash diagram is not a meet semi lattice and that's it right let's consider one more example check whether the following hash diagrams are meet semi lattices or not we have to identify whether these are meet semi lattices or not let's consider them one by one first we will consider this figure now let's just identify whether this hash diagram is a meet semi lattice or not consider the pair b and c consider these two elements b and c okay lower bound of bc is obviously a and greatest lower bound of bc is a you can see that lower bound of b and c is a and the greatest lower bound is obviously a because there is just one lower bound right let's consider the pair d comma e let's consider these two elements t and e now the lower bounds of d and e are b c and a you can see the meeting points c a and this is also meeting point b therefore lower bounds of d and e are b c and a now we have to identify the greatest lower bound could you be able to identify the greatest lower bound out of these lower bounds a b and c are the lower bounds right we have to identify the greatest lower bound out of these lower bounds you can clearly see that there is no greatest lower bound of d and e you have to see the first meeting point of d and e they meet at this point and they also meet at this point at the same time these are the two first meeting points isn't that so therefore greatest lower bound of d and e does not exist right after tracing the path down from d and e the first point where they meet are b and c there are two meeting points there is no single first meeting point hence it is clear that greatest lower bound of d and e is actually phi right therefore the given hash diagram is not a meet semi lattice isn't that so let's consider figure b so we are available with this figure and we have to identify whether this hash diagram is a meet semi lattice or not let's consider the pair a comma b you can clearly see that lower bounds of a and b does not exist therefore greatest lower bound of a and b also does not exist hence it is clear the given hash diagram is not a meet semi lattice we can straight away say that there is no need to consider these pairs you can clearly see that lower bounds of a and b does not exist therefore greatest lower bound also does not exist let's consider figure c in this figure there is no such pair for which the greatest lower bound does not exist right you can verify this there is no such pair in the given hash diagram for which the greatest lower bound does not exist therefore the given hash diagram is a meet semi lattice fine let's see this figure over here let's just find whether the given hash diagram is a meet semi lattice or not consider the pair e and d let's consider these two elements lower bounds of e and d are b and a 
these are the two lower bounds obviously this is not a lower bound of e and d you can see that there is a path from d to c but there is no path from e to c that's why lower bound of e and d is not c there are only two lower bounds of e and d that is b and a right now we have to find the greatest lower bound greatest lower bound of e and d is obviously b out of these two this is the greatest right it is evident that for every pair of elements greatest lower bound exists therefore the given has diagram is a meet semilattice right let's consider the last figure it's quite a big has diagram let's identify whether this is a meet semilattice or not consider the pair b and c let's consider these two elements b and c obviously the greatest lower bound is a right there's no doubt about this let's consider the pair d comma e these two elements lower bound of d and e is obviously a they meet at this point therefore greatest lower bound of d and e is also a now what about these two unrelated elements f and g lower bounds of f and g are actually b and a you can see that f and g meet at this point also and they meet at this point therefore the lower bounds of f and g are b and a after this the greatest lower bound of f and g is obviously b out of these two this is the greatest right for every pair of elements greatest lower bound exists i am just considering the unrelated elements for the related elements obviously greatest lower bound does exist although we have other unrelated elements as well like g and d e and b right you can consider them as well greatest lower bound does exist therefore it is clear that the given has diagram is a meet semilattice right okay friends this is it for now thank you for watching this presentation